This week's Realty Rain is going political, but no fear. It's not what you think. <laughs> Vince Arcuri and Ellie Lambert from Ellie & Associates are here to discuss their trip to the state capitol. Good morning. Good morning. Very Don't exciting. get me in trouble now by talking political <laughs> stuff this we morning. Be, we're we're going to scratch the surface. So. Yeah. <laughs> Well, explain what this was. This is a pretty big week for you guys. Yes, very much so. Very exciting, Carly. What happens is the Capitol opens it up once a year. It's called Great American Realtor Days, and we're able to go in and we're able to meet with state legislatures mm -hmm. and senators, and it's very exciting. And we went up with four talking points, but okay. Vince and I are going to touch base on two of those. I'll yes. let you talk about the first. Well, you know, one of the uh, the issues a lot of people when they're having a closing on their house they say what are the doc stamps for if you've had a closing and you're a seller mm -hmm. you see that doc stamps at 70 cents per 100 dollars of the sales price and that goes for affordable housing so one of the things we were lobbying for was the that's for affordable housing it's the sadowski fund and a lot of the uh to balance the state budget a lot of times they'll come in and sweep that fund and take monies away and that money's used for the elderly for example if they need a roof on their house first time home buyers so we met with representative uh, sean harrison of district 63. uh he's just very much for homeowners and future homeowners and he's a big fighter on that bill and we met with him to you know encourage him to fight a little harder, if you will, to make sure that they're not dipping into that fund and that the funds go to where it's supposed to for first time home buyers, to help the elderly and, and for whatnot for affordable housing. Okay, that's pretty interesting. So again, that was point number one. And then another issue that you guys wanted to bring up was what? Ellen? Yes, business rent tax. A lot of people do not realize, Carly, but we are the only state in the country that has business rent tax. So what happens is we're, you know, we're trying to bring and grow our economy here mm -hmm. and we want business owners to come in, whether it's the small diner, the small boutique, real estate company mm -hmm. owners as ourselves. So we're charged with that tax and it does make a difference because if a company is looking to move to let's say North Carolina mm -hmm. compared to Florida they don't have that tax there. You know what's so interesting is I think real estate in particular I mean I certainly when the bubble burst I think we really realized how much is in the real estate business or economy, how important it is, how important are these days that you can go talk to the ledger? I mean, I'd imagine this is priceless. It is priceless, it definitely is, because we're up there lob lobbying for homeowners rights, mm -hmm. property rights, and future homeowner rights. It's, you know, sometimes people don't really realize what we do behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. We're not just showing people homes. We are meeting with these people, making a difference. Do you feel like it went well, Vince? I feel like it went well, but you know, keep in mind that almost 25% of Florida's economy is tied to the real estate industry in one way or another. That's what I'm saying. I don't think people realize how big of an impact it, it has. It is huge. I mean, the weather's great, but I mean, the 25, almost 25%, I think the number I saw was 23.4% is real estate related if you include rents and leases and whatnot. So it's important. I mean, I think it's for the, for the health of your real estate values and for, is for our economy to continue to grow and that pushes your real estate values up and makes real estate the great American investment. So what happens now? You guys kind of sit back and watch to see if anything changes, to see if these, these people are keeping their word. What do you well, do they now? Are, I know that, that Sean Harrison has been a big advocate for homeowners and I mentioned that earlier and he, uh, I feel really, really blessed that we have him. Uh, in office because he is a person that is fighting for homeowners rights and uh, he's a big gun for us up there so I know something's going to get done. And, uh, I'm sorry Vince ahead. and we do make a difference because we were able to make such an impact last year they did drop the sales tax a small mm -hmm. percentage but they did yeah. you know they can't make it you know go down to zero overnight. Yeah. It's, it's a huge part of the budget. It is okay. a huge part. So they're going to have to chip away at that over the years. Well, I, can you invite people if they have any questions, uh, maybe of what else went down? Can they call you? Vince? Absolutely. Can they ask you know, more as, as always, they can hit nines and zeros and get us <laughs> at eight one. My direct number is eight one three Vincent. That was the big joke in Tallahassee. Yeah. Everybody was calling me eight one three Vincent, but that is my phone number. That is my okay. direct phone number. I love it, guys. Thank you so much thank for coming you. in today. We look forward to seeing you again next week. Thank you.